what's up guys so if you have a high sense smart tv and you're facing this issue of your tv not being able to turn on and anytime you try to turn it on it just flashes this red light and still does not turn on then i am going to take you through some steps that might help you solve this problem in this particular video but first things first if you have not tried turning on the tv using the manual button on the tv then you should try doing that first so in my case the manual button in the tv is located at the bottom it might actually be found at the right hand side the end of the right hand side of the tv in um, some models but in my case it is actually at the bottom of, of the tv so i'll just try to turn it on using the power button at the bottom of the tv so um, we are sure that the problem still persists so i'm just going to try turning it on now Okay, so the TV still does not turn on. So what we have to do now is to proceed to the first step. Now, the first step you want to take is to unplug the TV from the wall socket and leave it for about 30 minutes before plugging it back. So I'm just going to unplug mine now. Now, while the TV is still unplugged, you want to go to the power button and long press it for about five seconds while the tv is still unplugged now this is going to help you to drain the tv of all the power that is probably stored on the tv so we're just going to try to do that in my case here now after the 30 minutes must have been exhausted you want to go back to your wall socket and make sure that you plug your tv back on so i'm just going to do mine now Now you want to come back to your smart TV and try to turn it on either using the power button on the TV or using the remote control. In this case, I will try to use the power button. Trust me, this will work for a majority of us because it usually just solves the problem. If after trying all the previous steps, your TV still does not turn on, what you want to do is to disconnect all the other cables on the back panel of the TV because sometimes this might actually be caused by a bad cable, say like um, a bad HDMI cable or a bad antenna cable. So you want to make sure that you pull out all the cables and check the cables properly before connecting them again. First, I will advise that you actually Try to turn on the, the TV while all the cables are removed, except the power cable, which is this cable over here. So you want to make sure that you try turning it on while other cables are removed. And once you're confirmed that they are not the problem, you can try and fix them back to the TV. Another solution that might work for you is to simply reset the TV manually. But this can only apply to certain TV models and in certain regions as well for instance i don't have the option to manually reset here but in the right situation i should be able to see like a small port that is actually labeled reset here and once i click on that uh, uh, uh port i should be able to reset the hisense vida smart tv but like i said before this only applies to certain tv models in this particular case it, i can't find that in my own tv but it should be in certain types of high sense tv and trust me this might actually be a very working solution for you because it's basically resets the tv and it's usually found at the back of the tv just at this place here where you have all the cables there is just a little button that is labeled reset and once you click on it, you should be able to reset your TV and make it start as though it is brand new. So if you have that on your TV, you want to go look for it just at the back panel of the TV here. And once you click on it, you should be able to reset your iSense Smart TV back to new. Okay, that will be all on today's video, guys. Um, if any of the steps shared in this particular video wasn't helpful to you, I strongly recommend that you take it to a professional engineer to look into the TV for you. Because at that point, it is most likely that the problem is from the TV panel or maybe some other issue that you probably cannot be able to handle yourself. So, but then for the meantime, 
if you have any question make sure you drop it on the comment section and i'll be right there to help you out with a solution